In front of Flint City Hall, a call to action following years of oppression. Say, this is for George. This is for, George. This is for Brianna. This is for Mike Brown. This is for Sandra Bland. The head of a group called Flint Rising, Naraya Sharif, was one of the first speakers. Well, the hard work ends, <laughs> begins like when the cameras are off because we need like long-term reform. At the beginning of her speech, Sharif, who played a large role in recent Flint water protests, told the crowd about her disability. And, you know, sometimes like every disability is not a visible disability. Yeah, so I am immunocompromised. I have fibromyalgia. I also have severe asthma. Well, the main struggle here was to call attention to racial equality. I am so proud of this peaceful protest today, but I am too heartbroken about the death of George Floyd. Sharif says the disability community is also being treated unfairly. We, we know that there have been people who, who, who have died, who, have, who were murdered by the police that had a disability. Like they, they, they had an asthma attack, you know, like, so like these things are just, I mean, it's just horrific. The mayor announced new changes to prevent that from happening in Flint. We're calling for an end of police brutality, but also calling for real reform and real change. I'm Joel Fike for the Disability Network.